Welcome back to the No Signal Podcast. And today we're going to be breaking down the bird that drinks tears. We last did a video on the trailer and it was a pretty interesting concept trailer. So I wanted to do a little breakdown of what the story is so far. And we're going to be looking at the crafting website itself and see what they've released. So remember, hit that like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Guys, yeah, I'm going to break down what is the bird that drinks tears according to the Crafton website. It says, The Bird That Drinks Tears is a best selling fantasy novel written by the renowned Korean novelist Young Doo Lee and is a story that has been loved and celebrated for over 20 years. Released in a series in four volumes, the story begins when four races, human, reckon, tokibi, and naga, become entangled in a life changing event. Perhaps one of the most unique races in the universe, the Naga occupy the forested southern half of the world, claimed through a massive war in days long past. They led a reclusive existence, refusing to interact with other three races. It isn't until terrifying plot by a Naga insider is revealed that the fates of these four races are intertwined once again. Now the three races of the north, under guidance of an ancient proverb that states, three handles one mount a daring rescue mission into the untamed jungles of the south to find the Naga insider who may just be the key to saving their world. The bird that drinks tears is unlike many western fantasy stories where elves and dwarves are commonplace. Instead, the wondrous creatures of East Asian folklore are front and center breathing new and mysterious life into the world of fantasy literature. The Reckon, with traits reminiscent of giant humanoid birds, are warriors with overwhelming physical abilities. They craft their weapons in the final forge and take on lifelong challenges to fulfill their ambition for battle. Their role in the rescue party is the defeater. Tokibi, inspired by a traditional Korean goblin, are mischievous and playful beings. They have a natural affinity for magic. It is said that the mortal death is merely a pathway to a new life for the Tokibi and they live on eternally as an orison in the afterlife. For this reason, they are often fearless and do not shy away from death, as many mortal races do. Their role in the rescue party is the sorcerer. The main character that leads the overall story of the novel is Kagan Draka, known as the Naga Slayer. He spends his days enacting vengeance by slaying Naga scouts and consuming their bodies. His hatred is led by a traumatic past whose scars still run deep. His role in a rescue party is the Pathfinder. The Naga is a cold-blooded race with reptilian features, highly vulnerable to the cold environments of the north. They choose to reside in the tropical jungles of the south. Naga utilize a special form of silent communication called Neem and it is said that they can achieve a state of immortality through the ritualistic removal of their hearts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the bird that drinks tears. I hope you enjoyed that video. Looking forward to making more like these in the future. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.